In this video, we're gonna finish our material card. We're gonna integrate Storybook at every step of the way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import the quicksend font from Google and I'm gonna set it as the card font. We're also gonna play with some CSS here. So for the class title and secondary text, we're gonna apply some simple margin. Now we're gonna do some work on the media part. So start off with a basic div with the class of media and a dynamic style. You can achieve a dynamic style by using the colon syntax the view provides us. I'm also gonna make this div conditionally render based on the presence of this media href prop. And as for any prop, don't forget to add it in your props options. Let's set a basic hide for our image. Now, in order to make our media reactive, we're gonna use the computer prop, which is a great place to hold any function that uses reactivity data in view. Here we will define our media background function, which will return whatever image can be found at the following URL in the form of a CSS rule. To make sure we can test this out, we're gonna define a new template and assign the media href prop. I'm just gonna assign it to the fav icon that view generally comes with. Now let's switch over to Storybook to see how this is doing. And it's looking pretty good. We can see that it works by writing out the name of another image present in the public folder. I'm also gonna make some adjustments by increasing the media height and moving the secondary text to a small element. I'm also gonna try and make the element appear smaller by deleting its bottom margin. And if we jump back into Storybook, we can see that result has been achieved in both cards. Now we're gonna go for our next feature by adding the supporting text in the form of a paragraph. And don't forget to add its relative prop. Now to test out this feature, I'm gonna create a new template, same as before. I'm gonna call it third, but you can try and be more specific to your template names in order to make your texting easier. I'm also gonna try and stress this card out by using the lorem as a supporting text. And we can see inside Storybook that our card is doing pretty good. I'm also gonna change the placeholder icon to make my eyes a favor. Finally, to complete our card, we're gonna put some anchor tags inside it. Same as before, I'm gonna create a div, make it conditional based on the presence of the button prop, and I'm gonna nest an anchor tag inside it with a material button class. Making some adjustments here, I'm gonna change the button prop name to button text and define it correctly as a prop. Now I'm gonna try and make it at least similar to the material card offered by Google by giving it a purplish color. I'm gonna spend a few moments here color picking the correct one. I'm gonna try and make it look nice by transforming the text to uppercase, space the letter a little bit, and adding a very basic transition. I'm also gonna set the cursor to a pointer and define a very small padding. Now to make Storybook understand which type every prop should evaluate to, I'm gonna add their definition to the archetypes. And to finish this off, I'm gonna add the final template. Try and change your template name as well. And before seeing our final result, I'm gonna set the font weight to bold and adjust the padding a little bit. If we go back to Storybook, we can see our card is doing pretty fine. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or feedback, I'd be glad to answer them in the comments. Thank you and have a great day.